Welcome to Stability Before Strength, my name is Oscar and I'll be your host. For previous videos, you can check out the channel. Hi guys, welcome and thanks for joining me. Today I will go over breathing rates while running. Now this video is intended for runners who want to know what the best breathing rate is when you're running. Now the answer will actually depend on what kind of running you are doing. Easy and comfortable, medium to regular pace, or intense and fast running. Now each breathing rate is a little bit different because as you increase your pace, your body will demand more oxygen and increase ventilation rate so you're going to breathe a little bit harder. Let's go over breathing rates and find the answer for the best breathing rate that's right for you. Now breathing rhythms for easy comfortable running is what we call a 3 to 3 breathing rate. Meaning for every 3 steps you take you would inhale and 3 steps after that you would exhale. So it's about 3 seconds to breathe in and about 3 seconds to breathe out. Now that will help you doing your easy runs so that way you can maintain a good ventilation rate. Now let's go over breathing rhythms for medium to regular running. Now breathing rhythms for medium to regular running it's what we call the 2 to 2 breathing rate. Now two steps you're going to inhale and then two steps to exhale. Now this breathing rhythm is preferred for most runs since it gets the right amount of oxygen right into your system so the muscles would actually benefit better because you're taking two seconds to breathe in and two seconds to exhale so you're giving your lungs a chance to not only get the oxygen but uh, diffuse the oxygen to the right muscles. Now breathing rhythms for intense or fast running is a little bit different. It's one or two or two to one rhythm rate. Now one step inhaling and two steps exhaling or two steps inhaling and one step exhaling. Now a two to one rhythm is preferred method to use during the last minutes of an interval or heart session. Now try each and see what feels more natural although nothing feels natural when you're sprinting or going all out. Now you can practice these breathing rhythms doing your warm up so that be so that way they become natural doing your runs. You can start with a 4 to 4 rhythm for the first couple of minutes, then move to a 3 to 3 after a few minutes doing your jog or run, and then finally increase it to a 2 to 2 rhythm and maintain this rate till you're done with your warm up. With practice, this will become easier and natural, which would greatly improve your running economy. I often get asked, what kind of rhythm should I use when I get a side stitch while I'm running? Well, as it turns out, a 3-3 three to three breathing rhythm usually helps alleviate a side stitch while you're running. Since a side stitch is usually felt in the lower side of your abdominals, a side stitch can be due to a lot of different things, but one of them is improper breathing. So a 3-3 three to three breathing rate, or even a 4-4 four to four, rate should help ameliorate your side stitch so that you can get back to your run. I hope this video was informative and helpful and thanks for watching and have a great day.